Bryant's, brought to you by Stonewater. Today's Bryant's guest is Adrian Adams, culinary chemist. And yes, that's a real thing. Her molecular gastronomy creations are out of this world. Literally, she's sending the first souffle to Mars. Today, we're making snacks to enjoy right here on planet Earth. I'll be whipping up my famous rainbow foam. And we're using stone water, the best H2O you know. A colorful, tasty treat blended by the power of science. Gelatin is a protein with the power to thicken liquids. Hey, I'm just doing some quality control. It's my job as the host. Mm -hmm. When dissolved in hot water, the gelatin protein strands trap water molecules, transforming the liquid into a semi-solid gel as it cools. Muy interesante. No? My quality control grade? Why? For yummy! Time to enjoy a refreshing thirst quencher, Agnes Arbor. You need fuel for photosynthesis. This school's shutting off drinking fountains every day from 10 to 2 because of the drought. <gasps> That's certified organic nut! The water is a rat, not a privilege. Uh, try stone water for your plants. Thanks, just the same, Cam, but my plants are salt of the earth. They don't do designer water. You should come and say something. Awesome show today, Bri. I love the new set. Thank you. <laughs> Quick selfie. Nope. Braden, about your show today. Hashtag off the hook, right? OK, well, Bri for now. BFN. So, Bri, if I could finish my tiny little sentence. I was gonna say, your science show today felt like it was one big old commercial for Stone Water. So, what's the big deal? Mr. Stone sponsors my show, and Stone Water is the easiest way to stay hydrated and healthy. H2, oh yeah. Oh, I should use that for my show tomorrow. Bri, the plastic bottles are cooked up using this industrial chemical called bisphenol A, BPA for short. It's an endocrine disruptor, which sounds like a fancy science fiction term, but they're for real. They mess with our systems and can cause diabetes and, and heart disease. Dios mio, that sounds serious. <sighs> Look, Mr. Stone said as long as the bottles stay out of the sun, it's all good. Come on, Ember, give Stonewater a chance. Everyone agrees it tastes better and it's better for you. Says who? Says right here on the bottle. I mean, what are you gonna drink, water fountain water? <gasps> There is no water fountain water! <sighs> Celebrities, right? Always on the run. So get this. Kyle's going to the dance with me. Uh, um, so get this. Kyle's going to the dance with me. <laughs> something to tell you and I've been trying to tell you for days so I'm just gonna say it you okay Kyle's not going to the dance with Hannah he's going with me what what I was trying to ask Kyle for you M on your behalf but it came out all wrong and he thought I was asking him myself and now uh, just as friends and so now we're meeting up there I'm so sorry it was all a huge mistake Oh, you bet it was a huge mistake. Major infraction of the girl code. <laughs> um, is that a casual ha ha? It's all good laugh or quietly sinister ma ha ha. This isn't over yet. Laugh. <laughs> you have to admit, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, I know you were only trying to help me out. Exactly. Yeah, and, and look at it this way. Now I definitely know Kyle will be at the dance. I'm serious, Cam. I'm 100% fine. Really? Because I'm not. I'm going to need a moment. <sighs> Addison, bring up the last case file again. Um, if you want to talk about today, I'm all ears. I'm fine, Addison. I just need to make sure I didn't miss anything. I can't afford another mistake. You think the Nighthawk or the Falcon or the Quail let things slip? File, please. Here you go, boss. 
Come on, Addison. My bad. Thought you said Kyle, please? This is so awesome. <laughs> this was kind of my first sleepover. Ember, thanks for everything. Hey, we're friends. This is what friends do. <sighs> you know what? How about we get some sleep? You take the top bunk. I, I kind of like to stretch out at night. Good idea. Not a lot of room up here. Huh. No, there isn't. Night, Ember. Uh huh. You got a minute? Sure. Want to explain why this was on my dresser? I can't take the pen. I don't deserve to be the owl. I'm not ready. Michaela, you made a mistake. There's not an agent in the field who hasn't failed in the course of a mission. I let Innovate down. I let you down. You didn't let me down. You've never let me down. Is that my boss or my mom speaking? In this case, that's both of us. I'm gonna let you in on a little lesson your grandmother taught me when I was a new agent. As painful as it is to experience it, Failure is part of what makes us successful. Because the best way to achieve true success is to learn from and be strengthened by our mistakes. Michaela, I trust you and your instincts. Now you need to. I just need to do a better job of focusing on my work. Is that why you and Kyle broke up? How'd you know? Hello, I'm the head of an international spy organization. Comes in handy when you're a mom. My relationship with Kyle was getting in the way of my job. The case comes first. Michaela, all Innovate cases are important. But what's just as important is to have a life outside of work. I guess, but... Honey, you need to find balance. Your father and I struggled with that too. I, I just wish that I'd made more time while I still had the chance. Dad's the one who left, Mom. It wasn't your fault. The point is, it takes work, but you can have both a career and a personal life. Believe me, sweetie, there's room to be both Michaela McAllister and the owl. Thanks, Mom. Sorry to interrupt, but Brian needs you in the lab, Agent McAllister. Or can I call you the owl? Well? Addison, let Brian know the owl is on her way. Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper, if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set! Special Agent Cooper's office. Liking the British accent. You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes. This is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to... Agent Cooper's in a high-level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. 
<laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making his owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Uh, of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for Mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not in the moment. But do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa! Uh oh! Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it one giant leap for womankind. Son, you just got school. Not yet. Give me a sec, Addison. I want to check the news before reporting back to headquarters. Sweet, but I wish we could get a peek inside. Remember that fancy pen I gave her in class? Mm -hmm. Camera pen! <laughs> Sorry, Michaela. The quail wants to brief you on the mission status right now. The quail? That must be like a conan for the evil mastermind she's working for. Mm -hmm. I want one of those. I want one of those. Who the heck is this girl? Who wants to know? Ah! Spying on me? Please don't hurt us. We were just. Uh, just, um. Just, uh. Spying on me. Isn't that right, Adrian Adams? Or was it your idea, Bride and Bandwidth? Or yours, Cameron Coyle? She knows us. Of course I do. My organization researches all my new schools before I arrive. They said you're the three smartest girls at Maywood Glen Academy. The three smartest? Not too shabby. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm surprised. A talking notebook? I know it. Let's hope you know enough not to tell anybody what you saw here today. We won't say a word, but please don't hurt us. <laughs> Relax. I'm one of the good guys. Girls. You. Oh, gee, she's not gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm here on a highly classified mission. That's all I can say. By the way, cool listening device. Did you make that? Yeah, thanks. I call it my sound catcher. I'm great at making things, bad at naming them. Well, nice work. I'm Michaela McAllister. Whoa, wait, Michaela McAllister, that's MC. MC squared! No way! I'm squared too! B squared, Kim is C squared, Adrian's A squared. We're like a super cute light version of the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> Listen, Em, we promise not to say a word about any of this. If you let us check out some of that awesome stuff you have in there. <laughs> okay, look, I can see that you guys are really into gadgets and high-tech stuff, but unfortunately, I just can't. Thanks! Thanks. Hey. Did she just... She's physical, I'm chatty. <laughs> Maybe I should just go get her. And we stop. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>